Is high quality wines new to the Maltese people or have they been enjoying high quality wines but from other countries? Historically, unfortunately, Malta wasn't one of the most renowned countries of making high quality wines. I met a French enologist and he was making conversation. I thought it was, uh, he said, you must make good wine in Malta. Since that wasn't really my experience at the time, I said, you must be joking. Anton, what would you say is probably the sole most difficult hurdle you have to overcome trying to make wine in this environment? Lack of rainwater, practically. We only get about 500 millimeters of rain in the winter period. He said, no, he said, essentially, there's six factors that go into making good wine. He said, you either have them or you can acquire them. He said, one, you come from the Mediterranean wine zone, which produces 65% of the world's wines. He said, two, soil. He said, and you don't have to have a particularly rich soil. He said, the best fruit come from vine root are made to suffer. The soil is a very calcareous soil, very high in pH. Our soil is very rich in nutrients, but it is difficult to release the nutrients to the plants. He said, three, grape varieties. He said, now that could be your problem. He said, four, viticultural techniques. He said, you've got to trellis your vines. Now, traditionally, Maltese vines have not been trellised. Five, he said, vin vinification technology. He said, today, you." Technology exists that will permit you to produce not only good red wines in your part of the world, but excellent white wines, like the one we're tasting. And then I said, what about the sixth point? The sixth, sixth point, he said, is not really relevant to Malta. He said, the sixth point is the luck of the year. I said, why is it not relevant? He said, because you will never have wind during your flowering season. And as you know, if you lose your flowers, you've lost your fruit. He said, you will never have a bad year. I said, so why have we never produced a really decent wine yet? If we started first experimenting on a piece of land which nobody wanted. We applied for a commercial piece of property, which is this, but we still didn't have the finance. And the only way we eventually obtained the finance was with the support of Marchese Piero Antinori of Tuscany. And thanks to his support, which was both financial and technical, we finally got the project on the way. Mary Diana's mission statement is world-class wines of Maltese character exactly what is Maltese character? What we're saying is we're going to produce a wine which is truly Maltese. And to be truly Maltese it has to be grown, at least according to international regulations, it has to be grown in Malta. I am proud to say that Meridiana set the standards of high quality wines on the island. And I'm happy to see that even all the other wineries are following suit. We are at the top end of the market and that is where we dominate. We are True, we are competing with imported wines, but the people are specifically asking for good Maltese wines, and that's where we were successful. How close do you feel you are right now to putting your wines on the world stage in competitions? I think we're getting there. I think, I mean, we're already exporting our wines. I'm not saying we've perfected the whole idea because we are relatively a new sector in Malta. Malta, with having such an absolutely distinct history, spanning thousands of years, you think the wines will ever be as distinct as its people? I think the wines are already as distinct as its people. It's a question of letting the world know about it. And how do we go about it? With programs like these? You know, um, and obviously in my responsibility as ambassador, that's one of my prime responsibilities. First, letting people know that Malta exists. Yes, there is a country called Malta, and yes, it is somewhere in the Mediterranean, and yes, it is part of Europe. And I invite people to come to Malta and see and tell them that literally within the space of 10 days they can experience 7,000 years of history. I think that there are very few countries that can boast that. That is what we have to promote. We have to promote Malta to the outside world. Hopefully with Malta people will take an interest in its wines and everything else that Malta produces. Mark, thanks so much for meeting us here today and really giving us an inside look at Malta and the wine world here, as, as most people don't even know it exists. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.